A wonderful good afternoon, dear LinkedIn community and Composites launch members and Composites experts out there. I am on my way, Composites 360 on tour, the hashtag as you know, always discovering new applications. And today my tour brought me to ITMA in Milano. So at the beginning of this week, I was at Jack in Bologna and now I'm at ITMA and I'm very excited to meet Jochen Schmidt, the managing director of Karl Mayer Technische Textilien GmbH. Thanks for being part of my show, Jochen. Yeah, okay. Welcome to ITMA. I heard it's the first time that you are here. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Biggest textile show worldwide. A must-go place. A must-go place for, for textile machine builders, but also for textile producers. Yes. All these people are here from, world, from all over the world. And we are really exciting. The show starts yesterday. We have uh, really a lot of visitors, exciting machines here. Very interesting show. Good to have you here. Thank you so much. And it's very impressive that you have brought already your biggest machines here, or one of the bigger machines. We will run through the machines, but very shortly, Jochen, what is your role at Karl Mayer? And uh, run us through Karl Mayer for our guests who probably don't know maybe Karl Mayer in depth. I'm responsible within the Karl Mayer Group for the business unit Technical Textile. The Karl Mayer Group is here on this fair with five different business units. Four of them machine building business unit, one digital business unit where we work on digital solution and all the things you will see here on this coal fair. Here are machine builders, here are people doing digital things, uh, all the customers are here and so that's why we are here. And here we saw each other in the JEC, yes. where we had in focus the, all our composite stuff and machines for composite. And here we show a machine also for reinforcement, mm -hmm. but for the construction field. Mm -hmm. So it's not for composite, so the machine we see here is especially for reinforcement of construction. We have today, uh, we have here an application for geogrid, for road construction, mm -hmm. but machine can also do other stuff. So that's the that's the key, what we show as business unit technical textile here at the ITMA Milano. So we will talk uh, with Jochen about technology, innovation, and of course, sustainability. But uh, before we go into that, my comment to you, my applaud to you for being such a big machine to this exhibition. So this machine was running now about 15 minutes and really producing here on site, right? Yes. How long did it take you to bring this machine here and get it up and running? Yeah, it's around two weeks. That's our business. That's our job. We are used to it. We do it here. We do it at our customers. Yeah. So it's a challenge because you never know exactly the environment, but it's our job. And we are happy that the machine running that well, like we can and show it to the customer. It's, it's Absolutely. excellent. Absolutely. I've uh, taken some B-rolls and I will show now while we are talking this nice machine, which is called Weftronic 2G, right? Exactly. That's the, the, the product name. Exactly. If you are interested, have a look on the website. Run us through the technologies that you have, you have on display here at ITMA. Yeah, appreciate this. So let's start. What is our motto for the ITMA? The motto is master the change with sustainability. Mm -hmm. And our technologies, our innovation goes all direct, exactly in this direction. Mm -hmm. So sustainability, waste, all the things are a big topic in the industry and we work on this. Mm -hmm. Energy consumption, we have other colleagues from me, they reduce heavily the energy consumption throughout new technologies. For us on this machine, we have a very new technology, we can stop the weft chain directly as it is necessary for the fabric style and throughout this we can tremendously reduce the waste, waste which occur during the production. Oh yeah, okay. So this is really an innovation we show here mm -hmm. uh, at ITMA. The first time we display this function of the machine. It's a very special function, but all knitters understand immediately yes. the, the, the benefit out of it. Of course. And so we are really happy to, to show this to our colleagues. Less waste means less uh, resource consumption. And of course, um, you have less to you know put into the dump 
Absolutely, we have um, we have a calculator even here, so the customer um, can insert exactly the fabric style he is doing uh, with all the technical data, with the material he, he, he buys. He gets immediately uh, the calculation about the cost saving mm -hmm. and the CO2 saving because of the reduced waste. And that's exactly what is one of the key we work as Karl Mayer Group on this sustainable future. So you basically combined my three pillars, technology, innovation and sustainability <laughs> yeah. in one feature, right? Yeah, exactly. I think it's very difficult today to divide all these pillars. Yeah, it, it, it has to be interlinked. This is the, this is the key uh, for the innovation. If, if you do, if you work on the things separately, you will not achieve the, the effect which is necessary really to, to have a successful future. So you are looking at the things uh, on a holistic system. Yes. 360 degrees, which is, of course, the, the, the most effective way of, of uh, looking at this. Now tell me, Jochen, is this innovation uh, driven sustainability function by reducing the waste. Is this something that is market driven, that is a customer demand, or do you generate innovation in house, thinking about, okay, what problems are out there? What are the pain points of our customers putting their heads together? How, how does innovation management work in such a textile machine? Yeah, that's an excellent question because we mainly we're using two ways. Mm -hmm. This innovation is really driven by us. Okay. Uh, but we also need really the partnerships with our customers mm -hmm. and we really work on these partnerships. Because some of the information is really driven by demands of customers. Mm -hmm. They come with their application, what they want to achieve to us and we find then together with them the machine solution. But the innovation we show here is really driven by us because it's a key point that we reduce um, the waste to come to more sustainability and, and lower cost. And it's also a very proactive way of doing things. If you drive the innovation in-house and you introduce these innovations to your customers, they could also offer their own solutions with a better benefit, which is sustainability. Yeah, this is what makes our machines uh, successful. The machines are very flexible, yeah? So this means if you have five customers, it's possible these five customers do completely different things on these machines. Yeah. They adapt to the needs of their customers and this makes us successful that the range of what you can do with such a machine mm -hmm. is really wide, yeah? We have here an uh, uh, application for GeoGrid. Uh, we have plaster grids there. We have all kinds of grid structure and reinforcement we can produce on this machine for the various applications. Now, let's run through a concrete application, Jochen. Now, we have this Weftronic 2G here, this machine that makes this uh, grid type of fabrics here. What is a typical application on this? And what is particularly the benefit of having such a product that comes out of the machine for that application? Yeah, one application, for example, if you stay with the GeoGrid, which su uh, supports the road construction mm -hmm. and reinforce the road construction. And the benefit, it's, it's an overall benefit because the result is that the road lasts much longer mm -hmm. than without this reinforcement, yeah? Mm -hmm. So this is another step where we can really put our efforts in more sustainability. Mm -hmm. So it's similar in a way to a composite material in that it is pulled up in layers Normal, yeah, I think this is a little bit different type here. Yeah. In the composite, you're right, we have always layers, three, yeah. five, six, seven, up to three we can produce yeah. in one step on the machine. So here we talk normally about single layers. Okay. So the focus in the building industry is more on single layers. Single layers are uh, mostly sufficient for the demand. For example, if you have isolation of a, of a housing, what, you, what is quite common in, yes. in Europe, um, the last, Phase is the, the plaster grid. Yeah. It's a, a grid structure out of uh, glass reinforcement, and this avoids that the, that the wall cracks again yeah. after it is um, plastered and painted. Yeah. But there also one, one layer is sufficient. And it's also more easier to apply on the wall, and now you've got something for the floor for the street. That's the key we have here from Technical Textile. There are a lot of more small innovations on the machine, which yeah. the people are very interested in and for sure not to forget 
also some of our customers from the composite side are here. Yeah, they oh, are also true, interested yes. Yes. what is what is ongoing here in the in the machine building industry. Uh, so we also have some of these customers here, especially out of the the wind power business. Absolutely. So I've uh, discovered in the exhibitors directory there's a chapter called Chapter 11, which is composites. Yes. So I thought I have to come to ITMA and check out what it is it that is about composites. And I really found a few suppliers here and a few machine makers who are not only in the textile closing industry or in the foam furniture industry, but also working with technical textiles. So I will be walking them along. My final question to you, Jochen, is I have been to your factory in Chemnitz. Yes. That was in the January 2022, so uh, one and a half years ago. Uh, and we have seen this Spritz technology, the yeah, spreading device. The spreading device. Oh, spreading device. So how is that going? I mean, that is uh, done for the thermoplast industry. So is it developing further? Have you found uh, new applications, new materials for the spreading technology? Yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting question. So yeah. it was driven by, by carbon, yeah. also for the RTM process yeah. mainly, yeah, because we have the dry fiber in place and it's so mainly for the RTM process. Yeah. But we did this now already with glass. We did first trials also with natural fibers. Yes. So definitely the spreading technology will also be one of the key technologies for the, for the future. Because yeah. it reduces tuck time in the production of composites. And this is something we want to solve for the future. Absolutely. And we work on this and we yeah. will do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Jochen, for this uh, nice interview at your booth here at ITMA for the insights. And I wish you a great show. Yeah, Ilkay, thanks a lot for coming. Appreciate this to have really a different view, not the pure composite view, so that we you also watch out what we else have in our in our facilities and in our portfolio. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ilkay.